While some are men of the moment, he is the man of many moments. But Joe Montana is also a reluctant hero, a player who has been thrown every bouquet, yet is a shrinking violet. A quarterback who commands his stage, but also tries to blend in with the scenery. He's such a quiet guy off the field, and it's such a, it's like a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde thing. When he walks in the huddle or onto the field, he, it's, that, that's the guy's in charge, you know? You, you look out there, who's running the show? But number 16's running it. First look at him, you think, God, I gotta take him home for supper. He's so skinny. And you talk to him, he says, God, he got the personality of a stone. What am I gonna do with this guy? You watch him play, and he says, he's unbelievable. He's a work of art. Even as a rookie, he more resembled the timid Dutch boy on a paint can than the rugged heroes on a Wheaties box. But looks are deceiving, and Joe Montana has become perhaps the greatest quarterback of all time by overcoming every obstacle and misconception. He has an arm strong enough to get the job done, and this is what he does best. He gets the job done, he wins. He can complete the pass. Long, short, intermediate, doesn't make any difference. His arm is as strong as it needs to be. Back to throw Montana. Out in front is Rice. He is there. He's got it. He's, He's got it. It'll be a touchdown for the 49ers. 96 yards. He's seen so many things, you know, he's, he's been in the league so long and he's so smart and he's seen every conceivable defense that known to man and, and he is able to uh, adjust and, and, and pick defenses apart. There were times last year that I thought, hey, this isn't going on. I've never seen anything like that. He was hitting his fourth receiver. Look to one, he's covered. Look to the other one, he didn't like it. Look to the third one, he's covered, hits his fourth. He's, he, he's like the Magic Johnson of basketball. You know, he can see the whole field. And, you know, to, to have that talent is very special. I think it's a combination of running the offense for a period of time and knowing where your other receivers are, and also being able to read the drops of people as you go back and, okay, we're, this guy is taking the play away, I want to go here. This guy's taking this play away, I want to go here. Neither of them are, okay, I'm going to my primary. Although Montana reads defenses like Olivier read Shakespeare, his true eloquence comes when the script is in flames and the play is in ruins. Montana gonna throw, rolls out, in trouble, slips, falls, lobs it to Craig, touchdown 49ers. What a play by Montana. The glorification of Montana is often overstated. But for all of the individual glory, this man among men is just one of the boys. No, great job, Joe. I think you just try to show respect to the other guys. You know, I joke and kid and play. I mean, that's just the kind of guy I am. And it doesn't matter who it is, I, I mean, I, I love to have fun. You know, everybody jokes and kids and teases me back. First thing you learn is when you come in is don't mess with Joe Montana. Don't get near him. Don't play practical jokes on him. Don't do anything because most, for most cases, he's worth a trip to the playoffs, and, for, and in most cases, he's worth a trip to the Super Bowl. Out away, Joe! Go, Joe Lee, baby, let's go! Two heroes must know hell before they know heaven. Montana's frail body often withstood brutal beatings, but early in 1986, he underwent career-threatening back surgery. His return that season was the most unbelievable of all Montana comebacks. Montana has the ball. Back to pass going deep. He's throwing to the goal line to Rice. He leaps. He catches it. Touchdown, 49ers! Joe Montana, you think he's got a sore back? Well, it certainly doesn't hurt his throwing. Joe finds a way to come out on top. Every time that he has to deal with adversity, he slaps it off like John Wayne. In 1988, Montana endured the ultimate indignity when critics implied he was washed up and urged 49er management to replace him with dashing Steve Young number eight. Montana squashed the quarterback controversy in a heroic war of redemption, 
that saw him become the highest rated quarterback in pro football history. Back to pass. Comes out of the pocket. Gets away from the tackle. He's running it. He's past the five. He's down the one. He's into the end zone. Touchdown for the 49ers. We would all want to be able to be on the mountaintop, but able to bring our friends with us. Well, he's on the mountaintop, and he's all, and he's like the Pied Piper. He wants to bring everybody along with him. That is not going to happen to this ball club. You ain't, right. I ain't bull****. It's, we've opened the door. We're going to go through it next week, and we're going to take, kick ass and take no prisoners the week after. Montana's battle cry lifted his team to its third world championship. It's such a sight to watch this. It is, uh, whether it happens now or not, to watch Joe Montana do this yeah. uh, so many years and to watch this uh, absolute surgeon on the football field and one of the all-time greats do his thing again, it's almost like poetry. At the 10-yard line, 39 seconds remaining. Montana, at quarterback, in motion, comes right. Back to throw Montana. Steps up, throw. dramatic comeback victory in Super Bowl 23 was followed by five touchdown passes in Super Bowl 24. Montana generaled the 49ers to their fourth world title in the 80s and won a record third most valuable player trophy. To me though the one thing that stands out is, is he's and I've said this number he's a little boy I mean he's there's a there's a certain youthfulness about him I mean it's like he's playing in the playground when you see him on the field he's having fun playing. Joe Montana has made coaches geniuses, receivers millionaires, and teams dynasties. But he stands a hero because in this complex age of greed and glamour, he plays his sport for the simplest reason. It's not the money, it's the love of that, of that game and that competition every Sunday or Monday when every down's different. I just love it.